Hello guys, Mr. Dynamon2050 here, welcome to another video, and in today's video guys I'm going to be showing you how to get your Windows 7 or Windows 8 product key. Now a lot of you guys do buy OEM laptops or computers, and this basically means guys that you're buying a computer which has the Windows installed on it, and usually it'll be an OEM version. OEM stands for Original Equipment Manufacturer, and generally, you know, manufacturers can get things cheaper, so they can put a computer cheaper, so they can sell you it cheaper, but because of this, they might not give you the disc, um for your operating systems such as Windows 7 and Windows 8. Now in today's video guys I'm going to be showing you how to get your Windows product key. This isn't guaranteed that you can get it but 98% of the chance you'll be able to so you know you've got quite a high chance. Now if you all look, uh, if you go to your start button and click on computer then go on to system properties you can see that you know it'll say Windows is activated and then you see your product ID. Now if yours has OEM here uh, you've used an OEM product key. When I built my PC, I did actually physically buy an, a Windows 7 disk which came with an OEM product key. And when I registered that, it all went through nicely. And as you can see, my product ID in there does say it's an OEM. Now, most of, your, most of you guys, you know, it will say that. Now, there's a piece of software that I've used to actually get my product key. Now, I physically have my product key um, on, on my desk. It's in a box from a Windows 7 disk. Real shiny disk to Windows 7 disk, by the way. And my product key's in there. But say if you lose that and you have no idea where it is and you want your product key because you might want to install it on a new PC and if you guys are wondering you can reinstall an OEM product key on a PC as soon as you're generally using the same motherboard because it bends into the BIOS or something, uh, something complicated like that. Now a piece of software guys that you want to download so go to your internet and type in, um, you want to type in, um, it's called Bellark so type it in here, so Bellark, there we are. Go to bellac.com and download their software here. Um, so if you go to free download here, and you want to download the Bellac Advisor. Uh, the download's here, big button here, so click here to download your free copy of Bellac Advisor. And, you know, this is a free program, it runs on none of everything. There you are. Even Windows 8.1, uh, the new update. And it's 3MB, nice and easy. Once you've downloaded it, guys, chances are it'll be on your desktop. Just run it, install it, simple procedure, and then open the program. Now, from the program, let's just uh, load it up. So, generally, when you install, it'll update a profile. So, it's going to scan your PC for kind of, you know, product keys and stuff like that. And it also does, you know, security updates, checks for, uh, you know, just general kind of stuff, stuff on your network, stuff about security. Now, I'm just going to skip that. So I don't really want to know about local network stuff. I know how my network's set up. So I'm just going to wait for this. I'll just skip the video forward. And here we are. This is the Bell Arc Advisor. Um, so it's brought up a big page about my computer. And as you can see, it's detected that Windows 7 Home Premium is installed. That I've installed in English. Um, all that kind of stuff. You know, it's got my motherboard. Everything about it. Processor speed. Now, you guys are wanting your product key. Now I'm going to blur mine out down below, but I can guarantee that it's there. So I'm just going to scroll down this list. Now here we are guys, as you can see, it's detected a few games that I've used product keys for and also detected my Windows 7 Home Premium key. Here it is, that is that Windows 7 Home Premium, right in the middle of the screen. And as you can see, it tells me my actual product ID, which is already on there, which we saw in the beginning of the video. And then we've also got the key. Now I have blurred mine out because... That is my legal key I paid for, £70, pounds, so I'm not exactly going to show you that. But as you can see, look, it's it's there, and I'm just comparing it to what I've got in my hand now, and that's exactly right. So it's done a good job. I have noticed that, that it has an E on the end, so I'm just going to scroll down and see what the E means. And it says, um, this may be the manufacturer's um, factory installed product key rather than yours. You can change your product key using the procedure, blah, 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 blah. Now, that's your product key, guys. If it's not OEM then you can reuse it as many times as you want to, to my understanding. I believe it's actually five, and then you have to ring up Microsoft, but because you've bought the key and it's actually yours, um, the non-OEM versions are about £120 in the UK, and then the normal ones are about 70 So you do save a lot of money by getting OEM. But this video, guys, has showed you how to get your product key, and hopefully, guys, you know your product key now, and that you're nice and happy. You can now use it to do whatever you wanted to do with it and uh, yeah I've kind of solved the problem for you guys. Anyway guys thanks for watching please feel free to like, comment and also subscribe and if you want to see a lot more tech related video guys uh, if, if you want to see a lot of tech related videos like this one uh, click the like button and uh, then I'll know. Anyway guys in a bit bye bye.